absorbing the chains of dungeons into her soul because her repressor was also her husband, who abused and mirrored her father's. Just let me stay in the shadows of the prison cell. Her mind would shiver to her soul. But the black eyes, right when he would slit her vagina with sex toys, days when he would zombie ringing with screams of his voices are over. Her blossom didn't happen overnight, but now she is a most beautiful flower. Her smiles and kindness now shower desert lives. He has purified her mind. She is another victor in life. I honorably call my sister in Christ. Yeah. This next piece um, I wrote because, you know, when we're working with people, it's so easy to overlook look them and, you know, it's my coworker kind of thing, you know, you're not always trying to be friends with your coworkers, right? But it doesn't mean you can't, you know, maybe trying to be nice. So um, everybody has hard times, even our coworkers. So I wrote this in honor of that. Y'all can buy them with this if you want, but these next two. Hey, minor, hey, minor, I'm sure. <laughs> But you know she doesn't have an illness. Have you ever asked her why? So often she breaks consistence of staring at walls and when she turns around, glass eyes drip with silent tears. The point of her soul reaching beyond flesh to touch you. But you are unreachable because she's just another co-worker. Have you ever prayed for them? Weekly fresh band-aids plaster failed chances to rest in peace. Non-existing would relief him, so he thinks in parallels of fear. How will I feed her? I'm daddy with empty wallets. My child hungers as much as I do, and we are both starving for knowledge. For one moment, could you reach? For one moment, could you reach me more than just another coworker? Thank you. 
last piece. I don't have a this one. But um trans incontinental Train stops in the sun. So... 